Hello and welcome to the Frontboard Pretzel 270 tutorial. If you're wanting to learn this trick in Switch, there is a separate Switch Frontboard Pretzel tutorial, however this video may also be helpful to you. Before learning Frontboard Pretzels, I would recommend learning your Switch Front Blunt Continue 2 because the pop off the end of the rail is going to feel the exact same. If you're not confident doing that yet, if you follow the steps through the front board and then front blunt continue to video, but apply these in your switch stance, you should be able to work up to that stage in switch. However, if you can't do that, you'll be perfectly fine to give front board pretzels a go. But if you're really struggling with that pop out, it might be a good idea to then go work through those switch steps up until the point that you're confident doing the switch front blank continue to, and then you'll be confident with this pop out and maybe this trick will become a bit easier for you. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the approach. And you want to approach with your front arm in front of your body. And as you pop, you want to open your shoulders and hips and look over your front shoulder towards the landing. You should be able to see where you're going to land the entire way through this trick. As you're sliding, you want to make sure you're pushing your back leg out behind you to avoid any zeech and make sure you get that separated body position where your upper and lower body is separated, just like we talked about in the front boards video. As you're sliding, you'll find that your back arm, so right arm for the regulars and left arm for the goofies, is actually going to be pointing across your body at the landing. You can try and have your hips as open to the landing as possible. And as you get near the end of the rail, what you're actually going to do is to rock over a tiny little bit onto the far side of the rail. And as you do that, you can apply a little bit of weight to the outside of the rail as you sort of dip your front foot under the rail and then you can pull off this to generate momentum. By pulling your left foot for a regular or right foot for a goofy behind you, you're going to be able to get that 270 out rotation. This pulling off of the rail as you pop works very similarly to a front blunt too. Obviously because we're rotating the other way, it's, you're going to be spinning the other way and popping off the other foot. Hence why I've suggested the switch front blunt continue to as a trick to learn first because it will feel the exact same as your front board pretzel. This is also the reason that I think switch front board pretzels are easier to do well than front board pretzels because it feels like your normal stance front blunt continue to. So if you want some tips on that and want to try that, make sure you check out the Switch Frontboard Pretzel tutorial over on my channel. The last thing I want to suggest for frontboard pretzels is just a little exercise you can do to practice. And what you're going to do is you're going to find a relatively low rail that you can kind of get in from the side at the end of the rail of. So you're going to come up to that rail and you're just going to kind of give it a little pop on at the very end and front board it. And then you, as you get confident doing that, you can actually kind of tap it, dip over and front board pretzel. And by doing it just at the very end on this sort of low down feature, you can get an idea of that movement of sliding the front board with your shoulders nice and open, but at the same time, not have to slide the entire length of the rail in that initially uncomfortable separated body position and you can just play around with the spinning out part of the movement and sort of isolate that movement and then once you're confident with that you can put the whole thing together to land the whole front board pretzel 270. Good luck let me know in the comments how you get on send me a message with any attempts on Instagram and I'll check them out and try and help you out if you're struggling don't forget to subscribe and check out the trick tips channel.